Solo day. First things first, she's got to get her knee taped. But right before she went on stage, her knee bothered her again. So she was literally crying, super nervous right before she went on stage. And I didn't, we were just like, what are we going to do? And then they called my name and then they were like, that's a platinum. And then I was like, wait, what? <laughs> That's so cute. Jay, what are we gonna go do right now? Get donuts. Okay, so Bree, Bree's out of town. She's at another dance convention. So I have Jensen, Cozy, Emmy, and Bodie. I have the, the other four kids to myself, at least for a couple days. And uh, Jensen and I were all alone. We were up in the building, taking a look at some things, and he says, Dad, I want a donut. What do you want? I want a donut. Do you want a donut? Should Dad spoil you to a donut? Okay, what? What'd you find? A That's a big old ice cream balloon, huh? That's too big of an ice cream cone for you. Come on, let's go get the donut. Come Yay. on. Solo day. First things first, she's got to get her knee taped. Okay, we're at the physical therapist waiting to get her knee taped. Um, she probably will wear her brace off and on, but she doesn't really want to wear it on her solo. Yeah, I don't want to wear it on my solo because I think it just looks weird. Yeah, it's like big and bulky. Yeah. Physical therapist just tapes it really good with the KT tape. We have KT tape, but I don't really know how to do it like he does, so we're sticking with the experts. <laughs> Which one did you get? Mm, colorful one. You got the colorful donut? Yeah. It's just mine. It's just yours, right? Mm. <laughs> you don't want to share it with everybody watching? <laughs> did anybody do your hair today? No, no. Dad didn't do your hair yet. I need to do your hair. I said yes. <laughs> I still need to do it though. Goodbye, bro. Did you want some? Did you want some milk, superhero? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to get it for you? Did you? I'm kidnapping. You're. <laughs> You're kidnapping. I'm kidnapping. <laughs> okay, but I'll get you some milk while you take a kidnap. Okay. Okay. I love you, superhero Jay. Okay, you guys. So I've been having a hard time remembering like where we're going, like where the convention center is. And I've been to this convention center a lot, but my mom was talking about that it's right next to a theater that I go to a lot. And so then I was like, oh yeah, the place with the bullet holes in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Sounds kind of bad, but all the windows have bullet holes in them. And we'll show you if we walk past them, but that's how I remember the convention center is the bullet holes. See? Oh, there's one. <laughs> This is the place. <laughs> this is it. We're in the right spot. <laughs> no! Superhero. Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I love those boys. I'm the luckiest man in the world. So there's Jay, his cape, obviously, and his mask. I am, I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again, I'm the luckiest dad in the entire world. Like, every single day to be obsessed just watching my kids together. <laughs> We're done with buddy soccer practice. I didn't get to help coach at all because I was just playing around with this kid. He's just, he found a balloon upstairs, huh bud? Yeah. It's so awesome, right? <laughs> all right, we just got over to our hotel room from the competition and we wanted Brielle to give her feedback on the comp. We didn't actually tell this on camera, 
but right before she went on stage, her knee bothered her again. Oh yeah, it, my other knee, Which she's never had problems with before. Oh, I've had problems with it. Oh, okay, well, apparently she has. Anyway, so she was literally crying, super nervous right before we, she went on stage, and I didn't, we were just like, what are we gonna do? Anyway, she goes out there, it's like, different person pulls it together, <laughs> does the performance, right? Mm -hmm. And how did you feel about the performance? Um, I felt good, but um, I feel like my last competition was better, like the dance felt stronger than this time, but I was like super shocked because they, um, I was actually like telling my friend like, we're gonna be twinning, she's as old as Emmy and Cozy, and I was like, we're gonna be twinning, we're gonna get the same award because she got a high gold. Yeah, and well the awards, like, they also do the awards differently at this competition than yeah. at the last competition, mm -hmm. anyway, so. So then I was like, we're gonna be twinning, and then they called my name, and then they're like, that's a platinum, and then I was like, wait, what? Like, so confused. And then I didn't think that I was gonna place because- Because there was, um, first of all, there was 80 intermediates. So oh, that means 80 yeah. girls were competing their solos against each mm -hmm. other, which is a lot of girls. And yeah. a lot of the girls are really, really mm -hmm. talented. So it's a tough, it's a tough competition. Yeah, and then they were calling top out of their category. So like, mine was lyrical, so they were calling like yeah. the best ones out of lyrical. And they called third, and I was like, okay, I'm probably gonna be third because there's like a million people here that didn't say my name. And then their second, they said second, and they didn't say my name, so I was like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna win. And then I got first out of my category. And yeah, I was that, so was, confused. that was so fun. That I was, was like, so what? Fun. And then after that, I sat down and I was like, okay, I got first out of my category. Like, that's not good, yeah. Many. Yeah. And then I was like, but still, there were 14 platinums. Yeah. So that means like, knowing that there's 14 platinums, that means that even if you got a platinum, which is a really great score mm -hmm. at the competition, you might not be in the top 10, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah, so I was like, I'm probably not gonna get it because a lot of my friends did amazing. So I was like, yeah, I don't really know. Like, And then they said, five, Brielle Miller blinding me. And I was like, wait, wait, what? Like so confused. Yeah. So I was it like, was so cute. It was five. so cute. It is 8.38, which is not late. It's actually very early for bedtime for us, yeah. but we have to go to bed because she has a 6 a.m. call time. So if you have a 6 a.m. call time, that means you have to be at the convention center, full hair and makeup costume at 6 a.m., which means we have to leave our hotel at 5.45, which means she probably has to wake up at like 5.15. Okay, got it. So as you guys know, I'm one of the best cooks that the kids could ever, could ever ask for. So I had to run downstairs into the cold storage and get some dinner tonight. We are going to have, we're going to have some delicious homemade hot dogs and chili. Believe it or not, it's one of the simplest things to make. I know, that's gonna sound crazy. Also, believe it or not, it's one of the things that our kids like complain about having the very least. They actually like my cooking. And guess what? Oh, I have a secret ingredient tonight. Cheddar. Cheddar makes everything better. Yeah, see? Ch Are you excited about cheddar? Wait, what? Cheddar on your hot dogs? Keep watching Dude Perfect, and I'm just gonna cook dinner, and you're gonna love it. You'll see. Trust me. Kids, okay, on a scale of one to 10, how much better is dad's cooking than mom's? Yeah. Dad. I meant mom's. Mom's cooking Mom, is better than mine? Mom's by... What do you... Out of 100, though? I... Like, dad's like... I worked on this all day long. Dad's like one, and mom's food is still pretty bad, so it's like... <laughs> 80. <laughs> dad's a one, and mom's, mom's food is still pretty bad. The truth comes out. Dad's better. Mm, what a day. Get these kids fed. You didn't Homework. even cut the hot dog properly. <laughs> and into bed. Look. Well, I, I mean, what if you wanted it longer? No one would. I seriously have two and a half hot dogs in my chili. You're welcome. You're a hungry, growing boy. It's just about a wrap for us here at home. I'm just um, putting them into bed. Bodie's down doing his homework. The girls are in reading. And every night before Jensen goes to bed, he does. He he loves to do Legos. I th I feel like it's like a kind of a winding down time for him. And I like that time with him too. What are you building? What is a that? house. That's a house. Yeah. Is that a house? A not done. Or is it a tower? Does Rapunzel live in there? No. Is it a rocket ship? 
No. That's a very but tall. But Pondo live in there. Okay. <laughs> That is it from me tonight, my friends. Hopefully, um, Brie and Brielle are doing okay. It sounds like Brielle had a great day. Um, as usual, I wouldn't expect anything less necessarily. Uh, we had a fun day for the most part. It was good. I, you know, I really do. It, it's more difficult because I'm trying to balance all of my stuff that I have to do every day, and then, and then Brie's stuff with the kids as well. Um, but I, I. So it, it, it makes it a little harder sometimes, but I love this time that I have with the kids by myself. I don't I don't get it as often as you might think. And uh, <clears throat> just so proud of my kids. They're all such hard workers. They're so happy. They treat other kids with respect. Um, you know, and I think in the end, considering everything going on in the world today, I wouldn't hope for anything less, you know, than just to teach my kids to love other people and, and to treat them with respect. It's a scary world that, uh, that we live in. Anyway, hopefully we can all share and show a little love to someone today. Thank you everybody for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, we will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.